I put my shovel in the ground and look what I spot here. Maybe we can catch at least a bit of a glimpse of the moments that these soldiers experienced here. Hi there, you're watching Metal Detecting World War II Battlegrounds and after a long drive we just arrived at our location. We're trying out a new, uh, a new spot this time. We're actually visiting uh, an old airfield that was used by the Germans. At the end of the war there were also Germans held captive here. And immediately upon arrival there's foundations visible. This was probably once a barrack and uh, we've already spotted more so this is a very promising location. So we're going to get out those metal detectors and uh, start detecting. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Do you value your online privacy? Well, I sure do. I have been using NordVPN for some years now to roam the internet safely and freely. It's easy to use, connect with one click or enable auto connect for zero click protection. There are over 5,800 servers to pick from. Find a server near you for better speed or in a faraway location. In this way, even when you are traveling abroad like I often do, you don't have to miss your favorite content. If a platform isn't available in your country, you can simply change your virtual location. It takes just one click. Open the map, click on the location and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. Maybe a game isn't available in your country, no problem. Just change your virtual location and buy it. NordVPN also makes it possible to access discounts in other regions. And there are enough options. You have 60 countries to choose from. Go to nordvpn.com battlegrounds to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's even risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. So big thank you to NordVPN for the sponsorship. Let's get back to the video. Right, we just found a spot to drop our bags right there in the back and Ray just started shouting because he found something on the surface apparently and actually this find has been on number one of his list this trip and he just freaking found it. <laughs> what? You found it on the surface like yeah, that? Yeah, it's like this. Okay guys, we are, we are looking at a German dog tag, Erkennungsmarke. And this one is complete, it hasn't been broken. So you see uh, it could have been split in two and one part would stay on the body for identification if a soldier, you know, passed away. Why don't you turn it around and see if there's something on it. It's the zinc version, I believe. Yeah, I yep, do see yep, markings yep, on there, yeah. Yep. Let me get that nice close up. Wow, I am really curious what type of dog tag this is, guys. He was talking about this in the car all the time, and now he freaking <laughs> found it on the surface. He isn't. Ne You've never found a no, dog tag. No, this is the right? first one. Well, congratulations, man. Look at that. Wait a minute. If this is only numbers, then I am quite sure that this is a false Schirmjäger Erkennungsmarke yeah. dog tag, which is very rare and uh, extremely cool to find. Right, right after Ray just found that dog tag, I just dug up this razor part. Very clearly recognizable. And the soldiers would sit here and take a minute to uh, get that clean shave. Nice little find. I think I need to step up my game because Ray is seriously doing all of the finds here so far. And this is actually where he found that dog tag and there's a lot of small stuff he found. He just called me over and, oh, that's a nice toothpaste tube. Clear riding on it still. Uh, buckles. What is that? That looks like a, like a chain, like a yeah. bracelet. Interesting. As you can see, Ray is rushing over to me because this time I found something cool. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys here right now. I exposed the find already a little bit and you can see it for yourself. Look at that. You see that circular shape here? That is a soldier's ring, I believe. I think it's a copper one. 
usually the soldiers left their original gold ring at home with the you know with the wife so that if you know they would lose this in battle they would not lose the actual ring but it's a really nice one I'm wondering if there's markings in there but I mean it doesn't get much more personal than that a soldier carried this around his finger you know for many years so I wonder why he actually lost it but you think it fits on you <laughs> Ray said that he found a manhole and uh, or some sort of bunker. Jeez, look at this. If you decide to go metal detecting in the dark, you drop into something like this, you're gonna have a bad time. And there you go. We just encountered a trench right here and look at how big this thing is. It starts here, goes all the way to the back and then it goes like that and like that. Well, something clearly went on here. All right, this is getting quite bizarre actually. I've never seen so many foxholes all clustered together. Like here's the end of this trench I just showed you. You see those holes everywhere. Just gotta imagine how many soldiers there were in those holes, like. I just had a really massive signal, like 97, almost the highest, the more, most clearest that you can find. And look at that very shiny object over there. This is a German signal flare. There, this was a specific sort of tracer and the, this green code indicated what sort of charge this shell contained. Ray just made an interesting discovery. As you can see, he's in some sort of dugout, but it's not actually a dugout. Here, look at this, right there, you can see a concrete slab, we think this is a blown up bunker. And one of the first things that we picked up, believe it or not, here, this is an American Barbasol shaving cream tube in a very good condition. That was just laying here on the surface, look at all of that trash in there, there's porcelain, there's bottles, and also this airplane part just came out. Look at this guys, look at that text. It says Achtung, warning, and then it says something about uh, condensers. I don't know, it says something about electronics. It's This is for sure an airplane part. Maybe we can brush this up together and discover what's more to see on there. There you go, this says links, left, rechts, right. This definitely has to do with, I don't know, like getting getting your bearings straight or you know, maybe leveling out the, uh, the airplane, that the wings are not tilting too much in one direction, you know, something like that perhaps. Right there in the back, you can see Kevin, he's excavating that blown up bunker that we just discovered. And I think this area is really, really hot. There's fines everywhere and Ray just handed me over this American ration lemon juice bag. Where did you find that? On the surface or what? Yeah, uh, a little bit on the surface. Let me just show you. I just discovered something very cool as well. Look at this here. What does that look like? You see that round shape? Ooh. That is a pocket watch, guys. Ooh. front part is missing I don't I don't think the the clock part will still be there but let's clean this up together our adrenaline is running guys we're we're hitting target after target and really great artifacts that we're finding here is there writing on there yeah. you see a clear pattern there well that's a really nice uh, really nice find cool little uh, pocket watch next a little find right there it's a small pocket knife that's an interesting color. I'm not sure, is this Bakelite? Oh, Ray actually also found a, a pocket knife. Well, I think mine is prettier. I'm yeah, sorry, but I must say. <laughs> this is like stainless steel still. Does this, huh, well, you know, it once worked at least. <laughs> Can't get enough of us? Become a patron and get access to exclusive content. Bonus scenes from this episode are now available on Patreon. So uh, yeah, I just barged into this forest after walking on uh, on this uh, on this field, and uh, I get a really loud iron signal, quite a quite a big signal as well. I put my shovel in the ground and look what I spot here. Do you have any idea what that is? Well, I am quite sure that this is a rifle. Um, so let's <laughs> let's uh, have a small party here. Let's do this excavation together and uh, enjoy the moment. Let's expose it. Yeah, the trigger mechanism is still intact. Doesn't look broken. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's get it out. I think we can see it already very clearly here. This is the rifle. It still continues up there for a little bit, but let's uh, let's see if we can get it out. Well, this rifle has definitely seen better days. 
not in a really great condition, but the bolt is missing, so they deactivated the rifle. And look at how freaking long this barrel is. So it's either a normal Mauser or maybe even a Gewehr 98, that was the predecessor of the Mauser K98K. Maybe we can catch at least a bit of a glimpse of the moments that these soldiers experienced here. As you can see, I'm still detecting this forced edge. And look at this beauty. I just dug up a Soviet button. Look at how clear that symbol is. I love finding these. I, I don't really find Soviet stuff often, so that makes it very exciting to find, uh, you know, Soviet items. Quite an exciting moment here, because uh, Ray just shouted and, and showed me that he found a mini X, or well, <laughs> mini X. We actually just did a quick Google search and found out that this is a German multi-tool from the Second World War, also called trench tool, yeah, right? Trench tool, yeah. Look at that, so it has a screwdriver on one end and like a mini axe on the other end. I've, I've personally never seen this before. There was also a wooden hand grip here. Not much left of that, but there's even a beer opener here, I believe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look at that. Well, that's very essential. Right, so finally it was Kevin's moment to celebrate. He just came walking by with some relics in his hands and, and one of those things that he carried was a German drinking cup, an aluminum version. It's flat, but it's still a very, very nice find. This buckle piece is still here. So Ray just threw this object at me, telling me that he found a mortar tail, but he wanted me to make sure if that was the case, and it's definitely not the case. Like this was the the the, the bolt, you know, to uh, to operate the uh, you know the German iconic uh, MG42 machine gun. We've already found many nationalities of relics, uh, Soviet, German, also some American stuff even, and uh, right next to this foxhole. I just found a toothpaste tube and I just rolled it open and look at that writing on there. What language is that? Well, I wasn't sure, but I turned this around. Look what it says. Made in Italy, guys. And there it says December 7. And I think there in the back it says 19. And I think I see 44 there, 1944. I mean, I think I've never found Italian relics and finding this among all of those other World War II relics, man, my mind is blown. There were, there were so many different soldiers here, different origins. I did hear rumors about Italian soldiers serving here on this airfield and I guess that rumor just got confirmed. This really tells the story of what happened here around this airfield. Right, I think I just found an American ration bag right here. It doesn't look like much at first, but if you fold these open, there's a lot of writing there. I think it's lemon juice powder. That's not too bad of a condition, actually. Lemon juice powder, synthetic, vitamin C. And as you can hear, there's more signals there, so let's see if we can find something here. All right, I must say, I'm getting quite excited again. Here's that lemon juice bag that I found, and that buckle, I actually found that right next to it. That was right here, and right there. Look at what I just dug up. I believe, I've seen this being found before, but I've never found this myself. I think this is an American belt buckle. So I'm not sure if there's like markings on it, but it's a very clear shape. I might have just encountered more evidence of the uh, Italian presence on this airfield. The Italian pilots that were here, or maybe even Italian airplanes. Anyway, there's some markings on it, and look at what it says. Regolatore Precisione General. That does sound like Italian to me. I'm not sure if I'm doing the pronunciation right, but you know. <laughs> We've met a local here actually, and he told us about the Italian presence on this airfield, so that's what I meant earlier on with the rumors that we heard, but <laughs> I think this old man was actually right. Awesome. Not all history is written, guys. You gotta go out there and explore it for yourself. So we were just making our way through this thick forest, and all of a sudden we encounter this major, major dump site. There's glass and porcelain on the surface here everywhere. Apparently people have been digging here. Um, so what we are first doing is just scouting if we see some stuff that's interesting, like this shell casing or this soap dish. And I think Ray encountered some, uh, some marked porcelain. There's some Luftwaffe eagles there. Clear markings here, it says 1939. Awesome, yeah, we're gonna be doing some digging here as well. 
but this is this is a muscle protector I think but I've never seen one that's th that big actually wonder from what that was exactly but we definitely found the dump place of this uh, airfield look at those bottles there's just stuff everywhere on the surface so we're going to be scouting this area for a while now I think Well, it's safe to say that uh, we're all sweating, doing our job, trying to find great pieces of history. And I think that I just found the tiniest piece of porcelain ever. But it's not a boring piece, as you can see. <laughs> Look at this. It's a part of the eagle, and the swastika is visible. Luftwaffe porcelain again. Let's hope we're gonna find a complete plate. So, Kevin just pulled something really interesting out of the dump, and uh, we just, did a quick Google search and look at this. This part of, uh, of uh, pilot goggles actually. We found that it's from the Luftwaffe. And uh, yeah, what an unexpected find. I mean, Luftwaffe pilot goggles. I mean, it's in half, but. A minute ago, I was there digging in that dump, but that dump runs all the way here through some sort of trench. And also here, I spotted some porcelain on the surface. So I started excavating a new area here and I just discovered something interesting. This, this object over here. This is a porcelain ball that was inside of a German stick hand grenade. This was attached on a string which a soldier pulled, uh, which activated the grenade, and then it would, uh, you know, it would go off. Finally, another interesting moment. More porcelain, guys. Nothing to see here, but let's look a bit further. There you go. Luftwaffe stamped porcelain. The eagle is complete. We're still looking for that white gold, and I think that Ray just struck the jackpot. 1939 Luftwaffe Eagle. That's clear history right there. The uh, Luftwaffe pastor on this airfield. That is it from our side. Our bags are packed. I really hope you enjoyed uh, our adventure here at this uh, abandoned airfield. So thank you all for watching, especially my patrons. If you haven't checked out my Patreon yet and you want to get an exclusive look behind the scenes, make sure to check that out. I'll provide a link in the video description. Thank you all for watching. Take care.